Hello there, and welcome to 5 movie recommendations by me, Fresilius, or Fresilius Power. So in this video, I'm going to tell you 5 movies that I saw this summer. Notice that I'm saying this summer, because this summer I saw a lot of movies that I would like to recommend for you. Even though I've seen more movies in my entire life, and more movies that might be better. So let's start off with number 5. Where number 1 is the best, I'm gonna start off with number 5. The number 5 is Cloud Atlas. So Cloud Atlas is a really... Really weird movie, actually. It's a, it's a movie that you, you can't give up trying to figure out what's going on. Because you have to know that in the end, you will get a solution on all your questions. You will get an answer, because there is a lot of questions that you will ask during the entire movie experience. Yeah, IMDB descri describes the movie like this. An exploration of how the actions of individual lives impact one another in the past, present and future as one soul is shaped from a killer into a hero and an act of kindness ripples across a centuries to inspire a revolution. I think it is five different stories of how one person can make a revolution against the way things are. And, you know, IMDb gives it 7 point 6, 7.6 out of 10, but I gave it 8 out of 10 because I love movies where you need to think out yourself what is going on and I think this movie did it just great how you as a viewer needs to th figure out and think why is that happening or who all who are all these people and what is connecting them all together as that. It is based on a book and um, I gave it 8 out of 10 so that's my rating. Number four is Argo. Operation Argo in Norwegian. And this is how IMDb describes it. Acting under the cover of a Hollywood producer scouting a location for a science fiction film, a CIA, CIA agent launches a dangerous operation to rescue six Americans in Tehran during the US hostage crisis in Iran in the 1980s. So this movie is basically about this CIA agent that comes up with this brilliant but stupid idea of trying to trans transfer six hostages from Iran back to America. You know, you left thinking, wow, this actually happened. They have changed some of the history uh, into the movie, of course, that's all how they always do it to make the movie more exciting. But the movie was good, it was exciting, and it was it was really good. I gave it a 9 out of 10. Number 3 for me is Fight Club. It is a great movie with Brad Pitt and Edward Norton. And <laughs> wow, what a movie. Listen to this. An insomniac office worker looking for a way to change his life crosses paths with a devil may care soap maker and they form an underground fight club that evolves into something much, much more. Yeah. <laughs> the movie is really dark, it's really like, how can someone sink that low? You, f you follow this man who has such a bad life and his apartment explodes and he lives in this house which is about to break down and de get destroyed with this man and they just live a life that no one would even think of live alone in this house and they fight other men. It's not until the end that you realize why things are the way they are. And I don't want to spoil the ending if you haven't seen it, but it's such a great twisted plot in the end. Number two is Memento. It's such an original movie, take a look, listen to this description from IMDb. A man suffering from short-term memory loss uses notes and tattoos to hunt for the man he thinks killed his wife. The way they present this movie, the way you look at this movie, the way you see this movie, the way this movie is made is so brilliant. They start off with the ending. And then they go backwards and backwards into time for like just no more than like an hour of the story. 
you see that hour and then they cut into black and then they go things just go backwards and you learn more and more and you follow the entire story like you are inside this man's head it's such a brilliant way of presenting movie and of course the director is Christopher Nolan, the man who created the, the brilliant Inception and the Dark Knight movies, you know, the Batman movies, and that was basically the reason why I wanted to see this movie, because this man is a genius. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. It's, it's so good. I don't want to say anything, but you end up like, you don't get to know who killed this man or this man's wife? You need to figure it out yourself. Was it this man or was it this man? Or was it all just a trick? It was, it's, you don't get a real explanation. <laughs> and that's what makes me love this movie so much because you need to think yourself what was going on and who did what. And I love those kinds of movies. I rated this 10 out of 10. Basically, I, I loved it. It was so good. But number one, movie number one is also rated 10 out of 10 out of 10. And that movie, my dear friends, is The Sawshank Redemption. I haven't seen this movie until this year, even though it has been out since 1994. It's an old movie, but it's such a classical movie. Two imprisoned men bond over a number of years, finding solace and eventual redemption through acts of common decency. The main character in this movie is, hold on, hold on to your horses, Andy DeFrance, who as an innocent man ends up in jail. He gets judged by killing his own wife and he ends up in jail where of course Morgan Freeman, who is a narrator, and Police Ellis Boyd, they are getting a lot of friends in this prison. They are friends and they are friends in a long time. It's such a good story because you, you get to know so many characters. There's so many character characters that you get to love so much and things just break apart and oh. so I hope all these five movies was to inspiration for you. If you have some spare time you don't, and you want to see a movie, you should consider watching at least one of these five movies uh, in which you find the most interesting. These are movies that really, really touched me really much. It was so good. So, thanks a lot for watching. And me and my cow are going to say goodbye. Goodbye!